I'm just like any other guy chasing their dreams down as a uh, you know minor league player trying to get to the ultimate goal of playing in the major leagues. I just uh, happen to have a dad that uh, played up there for a while and did pretty well. So I mean, uh, like I always tell everybody, I'm lucky I'm not a pitcher because that'd be a little bit different uh, expectations. But uh, you know, it's definitely going to be hard with the expectations that people have. But uh, I go out there and try to be me. I, I had a great childhood being around the game, and you know, at a, low, uh, at a young age, you know, being in Boston. We had a lot of father-son baseball games growing up at the ballpark, dressing up, and you know, I think it was the, the Green Monsters versus the, uh, the little the Little Sox, and uh, it was a lot of fun with those games. I remember meeting Mo Vaughn for the first time and thinking that that was pretty pretty cool, and I was like eight or nine, like my first time in the clubhouse or the time I can remember, and I and I was pretty flabbergasted that they had a, uh, a soda fountain machine, and I. I was pretty sure I got a stomach ache from drinking so much soda that day. And also growing up in Toronto and then going over to New York and then the hometown Houston team was fun too. So I mean, I've had a wonderful ride watching my dad play growing up as a kid. No, I, I, I never thought I was going to be a pitcher because I, I didn't start pitching until my junior year of high school. And that was because in a summer league game we ran out of pitching and I, I had to throw one inning and I threw pretty well and was, our coach that was wasn't supposed to be watching the game was and said be ready to pitch this 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 next coming season but I was a power thrower I just threw hard I wasn't that good of a pitcher my whole life I faced I faced uh, my dad my whole career growing up as a kid I faced him thousands of times going like okay we're gonna play real live at bats calling strikes and balls and we have some good ones and we you know behind closed door we have good smack talking events you know back and forth but uh, he's gotten me a fair share of the times as, as many times I've gotten him we talk uh, before and after games, even if I don't play, or if I do, uh, talk about things that happen and what things I need to be thinking about, uh, pitch by pitch, or uh, if I make a mistake in the field or, or hitting, what like, what I was thinking. I mean, we just we just go back and forth of all the ins and out, outs of the game and what I should do to prepare for the next. I think he's still a you know a kid who's trying to learn his own identity, and unfortunately, he's he's had to live under a tough shadow. That's a tough shadow to, to come out of, and you know. For me, we just—I would really just love to see what Kobe's all about. I learned something new every day, and, I, and like my dad said, he—he he was learning things that he didn't know every single day he played. So, take that knowledge and just improve myself with it. I just want to go out there, have fun, you know, win a lot of games with this team, and uh, play the best of my abilities, and 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 get out of the get out of the ruts faster than I have in the previous years of when I've run into slumps. Be able to figure out what's wrong and get it going quicker. It'd be a whole other story if I was trying to become a pitcher and trying to, but uh, luckily I, I can uh, I can say I, I hit better than him. So uh, just uh, it's been fun and uh, I, he loves coming out and watching us play and watching me, uh, you know, chase down these dreams. And uh, I mean, it's a lot of people look at the downside of it of. Uh, the expectations, everything, but I've had a lot more positives come out of it. Yeah, he's going to come down here at some point. I don't know. We haven't set any dates in, in stone just yet, but he's going to try to sneak down here. I mean, the whole crew. I mean, they'll, they'll all come down here, and it'll be a circus with all seven or eight, whoever all comes. <laughs> over and over, plenty of times. I couldn't put a number on it, but uh, I mean, every every minor leaguer's dream is to, to have that to have their first uh, plate appearance or first start being a pitcher or anybody getting in the putting on the uniform and getting on the field for their for their debut. You know, obviously after after facing his dad a bunch of times probably in, in his batting cage at home or you know my stuff probably looks a little a little less uh, uh, I guess I don't know powerful good. if you want to use that word so